Let's have a look at question 10 in this video. So how would the equilibrium price and quantity change in the market if the marginal cost of every producer increased by $2 per pound? Let's do it with math and with graph to understand both. So first of all, let's work out the math. Let's understand what is the marginal cost function over here, which is the supply, uh, the supply line. So the marginal cost is going to be a specific intercept. What's the intercept? It intercepts the y-axis at the value of zero plus a slope times the quantity. Now, what's going to be this slope of this line? Well, let's see. What we want to see is uh, the change in price relative to the change in quantity because that's the slope is analogous to the change in y relative to the change in x. This is going to be our y-axis and the quantity is our x-axis. So if we change the quantity by one unit, if we go from zero to one, how, how, how does this correspond to the price axis? Well, the price increases from zero to two. So the price changed by two units when quantity increased by one unit, meaning that this relative change is equal to two divided by one, and that's two. So that's gonna be the slope. So we have the marginal cost equal to zero plus two times the quantity, which is two times the quantity. Now, if the marginal cost increases by $2 per pound, that means we're going to add, we're going to add plus two. So the marginal cost increases by two. Our intercept now is going to be the two over here. This is where the marginal cost is going to start. And we're still going to have the same slope. We're still going to have a slope of positive two. So it will go, it will go up something like that. That's going to be the new supply. Now let's work out the math until the end. This is the marginal cost after the after the increase of two dollars per pound. Uh, let's have a look at the demand function. The demand function is our blue line, which also is having an intercept. This is our demand function. Let me change colors. That's really not good. This is our demand function. It starts at eight, and the slope of the demand was that. Well, if we do the the rise over run, we have eight divided by four. So the slope is negative two. The demand is going to have the, the, the function of price equal to eight minus two times the quantity. Now if that's the demand and we have the new supply. If we make them equal, if we make them equal, so let's write it over here. Uh, quantity demanded equals to quantity supplied. So we would have eight minus two times the quantity demanded equals to two plus two times the quantity supplied. If we work out the math over here, what do we get? Let's change, let's change places, take the number together. Eight minus two is going to be equal to six. And then two times quantity supplied plus two times quantity demanded to be four times the quantity in equilibrium because we're looking for the quantity in equilibrium. If we divide six by four, the quantity in equilibrium is gonna be equal to 1.5. Let's see if that corresponds to our graph, 1.5. If we intersect the new supply with the demand, it would be at the level of 1.5 over here in the middle. So that works out. And now let's calculate what's gonna be the price. We can see on the graph that's gonna be five, but let's see if the math proves it. Let's substitute it into our price function. So this is our price function. The new price would be eight minus two times the new quantity, which we found out to be 1.5. 8 minus 2 times 1.5 is 8 minus 3, so that's equal to 5. And we can see that indeed it belongs to 5. So that was the math over here. We calculated the slopes of the marginal cost. We calculated the slopes of the demand. We worked out the equation to understand what's going to be the equilibrium quantity and the equilibrium price. And even by solving only on the graph, by boosting up the supply by 2 units, because it increased by $2, so for every given quantity it's costlier, more costly by two dollars to supply it and we can see that it intersects at the same values hope this makes sense and we are done